Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing, and today let's look at using UV glues. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I use UV glues a lot, but I don't really get into the actual glue itself. I'm too busy with the fly, so I thought I might as well take an opportunity to discuss the glues themselves. Now, I'm using a UV glue that's fairly thin, and the thing about UV glues, and this is the same for epoxy as well, they don't dry, they cure. And uh, what that means is they don't shrink uh, when they harden. If we use a regular head cement like this one, it's got a solvent in it. And as it dries, that solvent evaporates, so this thing shrinks. So what you have happen uh, when you're using UV glue, let's compare these. Uh, the top one is done with head cement and the bottom one is done with UV glue. And for me to get a good finish on this particular fly, I would have had to use three or four coats of head cement before I got that nice glossy finish that I get with one coat of UV glue. So UV glue, because it doesn't shrink and, and it looks the same as when you put it on and you cure it, it looks the same afterwards. It doesn't change in appearance. It doesn't shrink. It's a great uh, product to use, but like any product, it comes with its downsides. The big problem with this stuff is that, you know, it's very tough to get it to cure with a UV torch like this one. I mean, you, you shine this onto the fly and it cures the UV glue. It's the same stuff that dentists use with their fillings. They're using a UV glue in that filling and they're using a UV torch to cure it. Now, the best way to cure a, a UV fly is to take it outside on a bright sunny day and leave it outside. The sun will cure it rock hard. Uh, the trouble is if you don't have a bright sun, uh, you got a problem and this only cures it up to a certain point So the problem you get into is something like this poor thing. This has caught multiple fish It's one of my sand eel patterns. It's in terrible shape and you can see that this was done with UV glue and there was no um, uh, Attempt to try and preserve the the finish and look how cloudy the finish has gone and this thing is still tacky even though this thing is like three or four years old, it's been fished multiple times, it, it's, I touch it, my fingers still stick to it. And there's your problem with UV glues. You try to get that uh, rock hard, clear finish, and mm, not so much. So one of the things I've been doing is using top coat. Now, the thing about top coat is designed for women's fingernails. Uh, when they put the decoration on their nails, they're using UV glue, and this goes over it to seal it and to keep a nice gloss finish on it. So I've got a fly that I'm going to put in the vise. Just, just an ugly thing here that'll just do the job for us. Now, because UV glues drip a lot, I'm going to put a rag underneath to catch the drips. You've got a couple of choices when you're putting on UV glue. This, is, this head is rather large, and I did that rather deliberately so I can have lots of room. Now, what I don't show in the movies is that I take my time to get the excess off the brush. If you don't do that, what happens is you get lots of dripping. And the other problem is if you're not careful, you end up with the glue running into the eye of the hook. And then you have to fiddle like mad to get it out of the eye of the hook. Now, the one thing about UV glue is it doesn't harden unless you hit it with the UV torch. So you can sit and play with it and to get it to the point where it's uh, in good shape. So I'm going to hit it with a UV torch. And this will harden it up to a point. If I was to touch this afterwards, it would be sticky and it will end up with an ugly sort of matted look to it. It wouldn't have any gloss anymore. So now I can come in with a top coat, and again I'm taking the excess off. You don't need very much. Now the top coat uses a solvent, so it will shrink. But since it's shrinking over the UV, we don't care. So now we've got this fly with a, a nice glossy head, and that head will stay like that as we fish it. It's quite durable. Um, I've got flies that have been heavily fished, and yeah, they start to get a little beaten up after a while, but the basics of that gloss is still there, even though you start to get a few cracks here and there. It, it is an effective way to finish a fly. Now, I will show you something right here. You can see what's happening on this side of the head? 
I didn't hit it hard enough for the UV torch. So that glue wasn't cured. So that's, I deliberately did this. I wanted to make sure I show you a problem. Uh, and there's what it looks like if you're not careful about getting a good cure. And I know what my problem is with this torch. The battery is dying and it's not very bright. So if you're getting that kind of appearance, that's telling you that the UV glue underneath was not cured. So keep that in mind. If you want a good gloss finish, you're going to need to have, make sure your, your UV torch is at full strength and you give it a good hit with it and to make sure it's cured properly before you put the top coat on. You see that's gone really ugly now. So there's your typical problem that you can have with it. And when you're applying top coat, just make sure it's well cured and you're good to go. And the top coat will keep it durable. It will keep it shiny even when it's been fished extensively. Um, so that's it, you know, UV glue. It really works well, but it comes with its share of issues. So just don't forget to use a chop top coat, not fingernail polish top coat, okay? The other thing to worth mentioning, this does have a bit of a smell. So it's a good idea to leave the flies out for a day or so to get rid of the smell before you put them in the fly box. Otherwise, every fly in the fly box is going to smell like top coat, which is not a good thing. Anyway, there you go. UV glues. Uh, remember, they cure, they don't dry, and you need to put something like a top coat over them to really harden them up and keep that gloss finish. But make sure that it's well cured before you put the top coat on. Anyway, there you go, using UV glues. Cheers.